Have you ever wondered who takes care of the elderly in a retirement home and how? As a person who has experienced certified nursing assistant responsibilities, I can help you more easily understand who takes care of the residents and how they are taken care of on a daily basis. In order to become a certified nursing assistant, there are many mandatory courses and tasks that you must require and pass. According to a medicine dictionary, a nursing assistant is a person who has completed a brief healthcare training program and who provides service support for RNs and LPNs. They are also known as an orderly or, when certified by a state agency, a certified nurse aide. In this speech, I will explain what courses to take and where, many of the skills involved, and final requirements for becoming a CNA. Taking a CNA course is required. Classes are given at a community college, a university, or a local high school. All allied health schools says that, in addition to a high school education or a GED, you will need to complete a 6 to 12 week CNA certification program. Research for local programs or popular nursing programs to find out more information. The state board exam will determine your certification through a written test and a skills test. Many skills are required to obtain certification. CNAs are required to know things involving anatomy and physiology, nutrition and infection control, and the principles of motion. Detailed skills include taking vital signs such as blood pressure, oxygen level, heart rate, and temperature. You must also make beds. An occupied bed is when the person is in the bed and cannot get up. An unoccupied bed is when the person has been discharged or is just simply not in the bed. You must also give showers and wash and brush their hair. Helping the residents use the restroom in a wheelchair, walker, or walking by the patient's side is also required. If the person cannot get up, you must bring a bedside commode. You must also measure the intake of medicines, fluids, and food, and measure the outtake of any fluids coming from the body. Charting all the residents' information for that shift you have accumulated. Patelier states that feeding is also an important task. You will be required to feed residents with poor motor skills, food allergies, and the elderly. In order to become an RN, an LPN, or a BSN, you must first start out as a CNA. There is a great need for CNAs in the medical field. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, nursing assistant jobs will increase 28% in growth by 2016. Since being a CNA is not exactly a green job, there are many job opportunities in this field. In conclusion, becoming a certified nursing assistant has many requirements, but is very fulfilling. Imagine your grandfather. Who would you want taking care of him? Someone who is part-time and inexperienced, or someone who has many years of experience? While this job is rewarding, certification can be a long, thorough, and tough process. It, takes, it makes the resident's day to be cared by someone outside of their family as they reflect on their life. I hope this has either helped you decide what to do or not to do as a future career.